If you have got an old laptop with just a CPU and you are looking to run some sort of AI model locally, then maybe have a look at this new open source project called as Bit Segments Local Minds. In very simple words, it is a simple chatbot to be run on your CPU on any device. It could be your old laptop, it could be any sort of older hardware where you would just point it to your smallish model, preferably in a quantized format in GGUF and then you can run it locally on your CPU, no GPU required. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. I'm going to show you how to get this thing installed on your local system. I will just be using the CPU for this and then we will see what exactly is the performance. Don't think that it would be some rocket science project with a lot of bells and whistles. It does simple stuff in a simple way which is always a good idea if that is what you are looking to do. So without spending more time, let's try to get this thing installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I have this CPU. Let me quickly show you. So this is the whole stuff I have. It is a fairly good CPU on my VM, but you can try it, it out on any of the local hardware. Okay, so now you know my system specs. And by the way, this project also supports GPU support if you are interested in doing so. Now let me quickly create a virtual environment with Conda. Make sure that you have Python greater than 3.10. Now if you're also looking to rent a VM with a good CPU or even GPU, just like I have done, you can go to Mast Compute's website and get it done. If you can find the link to their website in video's description with a further 50% discount coupon for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Um, I'm sure that you are going to love them as they have been really, really good in various ways. Okay, next up, let's git clone the repo of this bits segments local mind. The name is quite big, I think. I'm not sure about the name. Uh, so I have seeded into it, which is always a good idea. Uh, because we need to install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo. And by the way, behind the scene, this is simply using llama.cpp. So the requirement installs a lot of stuff. So let me run this. And while it runs, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Matrix. Matrix lets you create a realistic world simulator where you can run repeated simulations as A-B tests for your marketing caption that allows marketers to test different angles and strategies and you will also find their link in video's description. Everything is installed now. Next step is to get our model. For the model, you can simply go to Hugging Face or wherever you like. From there, just search for any GGUF model of your choice. For instance, I'm, to, I'm going to go with this Google's very celebrated awesome model Gemma 2, 2 billion instruction tune in GGUF format. If you go to files here on the Hugging Face page, there are a lot of quantized level uh, from Q3 to Q8. And if you want to know what exactly are these quantization levels and GGF file, just search my channel. I have done a separate video explaining all of this in great detail. But very, very quickly, GGUF stands for GPT Generated Unified Format. It is a file format used to store AI model in a way that makes them smaller and faster to run on regular computers, especially uh, on a very, very commodity GPU of like 4GB, 8GB VRAM or on CPUs. Think of it like compressing a huge video file to make it smaller while trying to keep the quality as good as possible. And you can see that we have different quantization levels like Q2, Q3, 4, 5, 8. And this represent how much the model has been compressed. Q2 is the most compressed or smallest file, very fast but lowest quality. While Q8 is the least compressed file, it is slower but of highest quality. So these number roughly indicates how many bits are used to store each piece of information in the model. Anyway, I'm not going to spend more time on this. You can watch that video which I mentioned to you. Now in order to download the model, for instance, you can simply click on this downward arrow and save it on your local system. And for this tool, all you need to do is to just go to models directory 
uh, in the repo which you have just cloned bit segments underscore local minds and then save your model here you can see that i have just saved this q3m um, model in ggf format here so that is all you need to do and then from the root of the repo just run this uh, sorry not this this is a url which we are going to access i believe we would just need to run python app.py and this is going to launch it on our local system and as soon as you run it it triggers that llama.cpp which is a c++ based inference library it is loading the model which we have supplied as you can see here and if i just scroll down you will see that now it has loaded the model and it is running on our local system and for that all you need to do is to just go to your browser and access the tool at um, port 5001 on your local host so you can start chatting with your model for example if i just say hello there okay so i just need to do a new chat maybe okay let's do that okay i'll just say first test let's do this now and now it is doing something let me also run the top command here we will see the cpu consumption So at the moment it, it the model is loaded and you can see that this is what it is doing at the moment not much consumption is there slightly higher load it is going up and this is what i was saying that don't expect it to be rocket uh fast or something like that and i have a good gpu a cpu remember so this is a cpu at the moment so let's wait for it to generate something and then we will go from there and by the way it also implements some sort of um inherent memory for the long term and i think it uses some tense transformer for that you can also have some multi-chat uh memory support in it okay and i believe it is using flask backend let's also check what is happening in the log here okay so it has loaded the model which is good the http code is 200 it means it is doing something I will wait for it to generate something and then we will go from there and it has added out as you can see here i have tried multiple times let me check out the code and these are open source projects so don't expect them to be uh, you know quality tested before they have put it onto the github so let me check the code if i can fix it and i will then rerun it okay there you go so i have what i have done i have just changed this index.html file there seems to be um, a lot of issues with the front end the back end seems good the front end had some errors which i have fixed i have changed the interface a bit so you can see it is still running on the same port and it is still running on the cpu i have rest of it is all the same i might just do a pull request on the repo later so now we can see if it works or not so i'm just going to say hello there let's wait for it same model everything is same and there you go so it works this time <clears throat> and this is Gemma. maybe i will also show you the top command at the same time that how much it is uh, taking so i'll just say what is happiness and then we'll just check it out here so this is a cpu uh, consumption of course it is a bit higher but not as high as you would imagine so all running on cpu you can see that even memory looks quite good everything is quite decent i would say yes cpu is a bit higher no doubt about that but look this is what it is um, depending upon your cpu config that will be the number of tokens per second but all in all this is how you can run this tool on your cpu quite easily again very very simple um, stuff but i think it does what it sh should be doing around running your model in quantized format on gpu on cpu sorry so let me know what do you think about this 
just a wrapper on llama.cpp which is always great and if you like it please like the video and share the video and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching